scared of putting on water weight when taking creatine? Is the water retention real? And should you even worry about it? Let's figure it out together. I'm Maya Valencia with Naked Nutrition, a private chef and nutrition coach, here to answer all of your health and wellness questions. Those who are new to creatine supplementation may experience mild bloating and weight gain from water retention, particularly in the loading phase. However, bloating from water retention is temporary and typically resolves on its own and may even benefit your performance. Creatine is osmotically active, which means it pulls water in, resulting in temporary increase in water retention and weight gain. Water retention from creatine can actually boost performance by improving our ability to regulate body temperature during exercise and stimulate muscle protein synthesis. You can help ease fluid retention by staying hydrated, making sure that you're taking the proper dose for the loading phase, taking it at the proper time, and if you don't feel comfortable, just skipping it altogether. Those who consume a standard diet that contain animal proteins are likely consuming about one to two grams of creatine per day on average, which equals to creatine stores of about 60 to 80% capacity. To maximize your creatine stores, for optimal performance as quickly as possible, a creatine supplementation loading phase is often recommended. That is when you take about 20 to 25 grams daily, five to seven days to saturate your muscles and effectively boost your creatine stores by as much as 40%. This is typically followed by a maintenance dose of three to five grams per day. This loading phase of creatine supplementation can result in bloating for some individuals. This can reflect slight increase in body weight due to an increase in lean body mass and water retention in the muscle tissue. Creatine is osmotically active, which means that it pulls water in with it. If you're boosting creatine in your muscles, you're increasing fluid simultaneously. If you're new to taking creatine and plan to go through a loading phase, you can expect about a one to 2% body mass increase during this time. Though it might not sound ideal, this increase in fluid won't stick around for long. In fact, fluid retention from creatine loading typically resolves on its own in a few weeks following the loading phase. Over time, the effects of creatine supplementation are vastly positive on your body composition, as long as you follow an optimal nutrition and training plan. The osmotic results of creatine created what is known a cellular swelling, and according to research, this phenomenon is essential in stimulating NPS as it acts as an anabolic proliferation signal. This signal, the body then favors creating new muscle tissue. So if you're loading your creatine properly and you're staying consistent with your diet and exercise regimen, the slight increase in water retention might just be a wanted side effect. Use the extra energy to fuel your workouts and then sit back and reap the rewards. So for more information on our creatine supplement, Naked Creatine, check us out at nakednutrition.com. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one, because here at Naked Nutrition, we are nutrition with nothing to hide.